The new trailers for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet just dropped, and while I'm excited to play the new games, the speed at which these games are being released is something that poses a lot of problems to the quality of these games. Let's look back a sec. BDSP was released in November of 2021, Arceus only two months later, and Scarlet and Violet being released this same year. And basically, I'm afraid that Pokemon is going to become a yearly game franchise. Since one year is not enough time to make a quality large-scale game, especially an open-world one. And yes, I'm aware that Game Freak has multiple teams working on these games, but the thing is, they've had multiple teams working on these games for more than a decade. And it's not like having multiple teams stop Sword and Shield from being objectively unpolished, especially graphically, which has been a huge talking point these last few days regarding these new games. Yes, the graphics have improved from the last few games, but that still doesn't mean they're good. We went from GameCube to Xbox 360 graphics. I don't understand. Pokemon is so large. With the amount of resources they have, they should be leading the industry, not trailing it. And what's funny is all the people memeing on the topic and trying to defend it. Right after the games dropped, I made the terrible decision to go on Twitter to see what other people thought. And some of these takes trying to defend these games are, well... One of the takes I saw the most was people telling others to stop complaining about the graphics because it's dumb if you want Pokemon graphics to look realistic. But I think these people are really missing the point. We aren't asking for ultra-realistic graphics. We aren't expecting or even want the games to look like Elden Ring or Ryan Reynolds. Rather, something that looks clean and stylized. It seems Pokemon is trying to replicate the style of Breath of the Wild, but Zelda took 7-ish years to develop. With such little time, Pokemon ended up looking like a ripoff of Breath of the Wild. I would much rather Pokemon have its own unique art style with better graphics instead. Now, people are trying to defend these games and call this art style. This is not a deliberate choice. Do you really think they chose to create something like this over this because of art style? No. This is the result of attempting to replicate a certain style, but not having the time to do so, leaving the game feeling extremely unpolished. They obviously have an art style, that's not the problem. It's the graphics of that art style that are very poor. And I'm not saying graphics have to be crazy, just something that's clean and fits thematically with the games. Dragon Quest is a good example of this. Now, you may think that the difference between these two games aren't the biggest deal. And you're right, graphically, they're not too different. What's different is that one of these games came out in 2004 on the PS2 and the other in 2022 on the Switch. Yup. And now, if you look at Dragon Quest graphics today, they aren't super realistic. It's stylized, it's clean, and it fits the game. These are the concepts that Pokemon should strive for. And we know it's entirely possible. Pokemon Snap look great. If they could use that style with this level of graphics for a main series game, then I doubt that there'd be any complaints. I swear, I can't tell if people on Twitter are trying to be funny or they're genuinely trying to defend these games. However, the more I read, the more I'm leaning towards the, these people are very, very optimistic. From people defending the game by saying how the character models are the same as Snaps, which isn't the point, to people really saying how the graphics are only bad now because gameplay footage isn't final. You know what other game said that? Yeah. Oh, oh, they did make improvements? Yeah, the game is gonna look practically the same. I really do appreciate the optimism, but in a few months' time, they aren't gonna turn this into Breath of the Wild. Another big thing that I saw talked about extremely frequently was to shut up about the graphics and just enjoy the game. And appreciate that these games are coming out so early. But in all honesty, I'd rather wait 8 to 12 more months for a really quality game. I think the real frustration comes from the fact that Pokemon has so much to work with. 
I think we'd be fine if this game was made by a smaller indie developer, but no, it's Pokemon. You know, the individually highest grossing media franchise of all time, the franchise that generates more than the MCU, Star Wars, and 45 billion more dollars than Zelda. I know all that money doesn't go to the games, but I'm pretty sure they have enough to make a beautiful game. And finally, one of the most common responses was saying that graphics don't matter and it's gameplay that matters more. And while I wholeheartedly agree that gameplay matters more than graphics, that isn't an excuse to have bad visuals. And damn, it feels like I'm in the minority here, but I like to have the games I play to look thematically nice. Yes, gameplay does matter more, but having good graphics can really help the game live out its full potential. I thought it was awesome that we were able to write Braviary. The concept of flying around the world is great, but immediately I was taken out of the experience because of how bad the world looked. The game isn't bad because it doesn't have good graphics, but it can be so much better if it did. I just don't get what people are trying to defend here. Yes, gameplay matters more, and Pokemon has never been about the graphics, but what they're putting out is terrible for a 2022 AAA game. And I don't want to be toxic, and we don't want to ruin your fun. Rather, for you not to defend subpar content when you deserve a lot more. What they had graphically on every other console was adequate, but the Switch can do so much more, yet they're still struggling to compete with literally everyone else. But it's not like Game Freak is entirely the one at fault here. I mean, how can you make a great game with equally good visuals in such a short time span? Which goes back to my main point, that these games are being pumped out way too fast. Legends of Arceus took huge strides forward, but there were still some glaring issues like the fast travel, the excessive dialogue, and super slow start. Giving developers time to work out all these dents and create a visually pleasing game is something I'd wait a year for. It seems graphics are improving, so hopefully next year the game will go up another console. Don't keep your expectations too high though. And hey, if you're one of the people that don't care for graphics at all and would enjoy the game no matter how it looks, then honestly, you're the one winning. And don't take anything in this video personally, I'm not here to target anyone, I just love the franchise and would like to see it improve. Anyways, I'll see you later, take it easy. And shoutouts to $15 patron, Line.